Hello. Why yes, I am looking for fresh ideas. This has grown like less than a mile from here, so. Wow. Yeah. It's one of those things that like the longer you wait from when you harvest it to when you eat it, the flavor and nutrition really just kind of diminishes. The fresher the basil, yep. the more aromatic compounds, Exactly. Uh, the closer it is to, to living, yep. and therefore the more we can smell taste it, it yeah. smell it, yep. smell taste. Have you ever tasted a, a basil, basil seed? seed? Uh, once or twice, Okay. which might sound strange, but I'm a strange person. <laughs> I believe it. Mm. Similar to a poppy, but definitely has a little bit more of the uh, like clean taste that, that I associate with basil. Yeah. You know, people would say, oh, you're weird. You're eating seeds like this, you know, like that, that grow. These seeds are for growing, but all seeds are for growing. We exactly. eat seeds all the time. Sunflower seeds. Sesame seeds, yeah. poppy seeds. Kind of a fun fact about basil is that because it's super sensitive to the change in temperature, never put it in your refrigerator. You'll notice it will turn black. I thought it was just cruddy basil. No, it's best kept at like 50, 55 degrees. If you have a wine cooler at home, stick it in there. Would you say the caprese salad is like one of like basil's greatest hits? Yeah. It can't stop playing that song. Yeah. So I'm gonna prepare something with your basil. It's gonna be kind of a, a remix of the caprese salad. So, in theory, we could cook with all of this. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, by chance, do you have any more? Yeah, yeah. Wait, hold on. Bam. Wow. <laughs> Kilo of basil. Uh, man. Whoa. I, this is probably the cleanest, sweetest smelling air I've smelled in my career in New York. It would be handy to have a little of this, like a vial of it, as yeah, you're walking right? through the subway. Just for, just for huffing? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could definitely take care of the G train with this. Yeah. So the first thing I'm gonna do is hydrate yeah. the seeds. So we'll put those in there. So I'll throw a little balsamic in there and then I'll just put in a little water. They kind of swell and they secrete kind of like this like mucilaginous membrane as they start to absorb liquids. 10 minutes or so, those will uh, be fully bloomed. Why don't you load me up like, I don't know, half full in there? All right. I'm gonna make sorbet. Now, sugar. So I'm gonna give that a little mix. Then we will increase speed, stand by. Great, another thing that we do to make it a, a little bit more savory and also to keep it from freezing rock hard is adding some sort of alcohol. Just like a little tiny shot in there, not too much. And then lastly, a little bit of lemon juice. There we introduce the ice cream machine. Look at that, the exact perfect amount. Use a butter knife <laughs> to turn the machine What kind of on. janky machine is this? It was free. <laughs> so this has about a, a half hour or so left of churn. Okay. And in the interim, I'm gonna get the plate ready. A Little bit of salt right here in the center. Then a little black pepper. We'll get to why in just a moment. Okay. I've got uh, some mixed tomatoes. Some are teardrops, some are cherries. A little mozzarella ball right there. Pretty simple, huh? That's good. This little yellow guy, I'm gonna slice the side off. Oh, let's add a mozzarella ball. You might throw in that down Yeah, there? let's do it. And we also have the basil seeds. Oh, I've strained them out there. It's like a kind right. of a, yeah, go for yeah. it. It's like a poor man's caviar. Whoa. Or a rich man if uh, I dig it. basil seeds are your currency. So add a little top on there. This is vegan caviar. So now I'm gonna do a, a, a silly French technique called the cannelle. Mm -hmm. You know the cannelle? I do. And so the cannelle of sorbet will live right there. Wait for it, up. wait for it. Wait for it, bang. Gonna be our little showcase. Good Beautiful, looking. huh? Yeah. And so now, we put that little salt and pepper on there so that it won't slide around. Move around too much, yeah. Shall we have a taste? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna make one of those like little perfect bites, right? You get a tomato. Bang. Tomato me. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Right? That's really great. As mm. the sorbet melts, it's cold and it circulates all around. You get the balsamic in there, kind of becomes its own sauce. What do you think? I mean, it's kind of an interesting take, uh, especially for warmer months to have like a super refreshing cold blast of. And also stick those the little basil seed caviar on there. It's delicious. Awesome. I couldn't welcome spring with anyone better. Oh, thanks, Justin.